boundaries, but also in a variety of settings. Recreation, for example, is significant in terms of establishing an environment of learning and discovery and will contribute in no uncertain terms to the excellence that Dowling students will continue to achieve. It is now my pleasure, great pleasure really, to introduce Student Government President Danielle Nicole Ceramello, who brings greetings from the Student Government Association. Thank you, Dr. Zolfo, Dowling College trustees, administration, faculty, distinguished guests, graduates, friends, and family. Good morning. My name is Danielle Ceramello, president of your Student Government Association. On behalf of the student body, it gives me great pleasure to offer congratulations to the Dowling College graduating class of 2013. Class of 2013, cleared to land runway 33 at Brookhaven Airport. Some of you might be wondering, what on earth is she talking about? Is an aircraft landing here at this ceremony? Well, the answer to that is no. <laughs> but what if I told you that each and every one of you can be referred to as a pilot? Because not only did I recite an aircraft's clearance to land, but your clearance to land here at Dowling College four years ago, which had signified the beginning of your college career. In the spirit of the Brookhaven campus, I would like to relate your life to a flight, one that is continually landing and arriving at new destinations based on a flight plan that has taken you through adventurous and challenging conditions, but has always led you to where you're supposed to be. Let's rewind all the way back to our initial adventure, our own high school flight. During that flight, we were preparing for our next destination, college. Our clearance to land at Dallin College came in the form of an acceptance letter. And regardless of where we all lived, we packed up our bags and departed from our hometown. When we landed here as freshmen, it was unfamiliar territory, as any new airport along our flight would be. On the first day of classes, you began your flight to your bachelor's degree, or as I'd like to call it, your flight to success. You sat in the cockpit, started up the engines, and went full throttle toward your dreams. On this flight, you met hundreds of people, from commuters to dormers, psychology majors and accounting majors, and all those in between. As our paths have crossed, we have come to realize that we share the same purpose in seeking the highest quality of education and pursuing our dreams, no matter how challenging or demanding the process. We seem to overlook the strength inside of us when our flight is not as smooth as we would like it to be. Sometimes it may have gotten bumpy. We may have hit turbulence and life got hard. Whether it was studying for those dreaded midterm exams, preparing for that class presentation, sitting through a long night class, or deciding our plans for Thursday night, we all had to do it together. This task was not an easy one, or a walk in the park to say the least. Each and every one of you had to owe it to yourselves to recognize how strong you are for getting here today. After all, you are the pilot in command of the flight of your life. In this flight of your life, time is flying by. It feels like just yesterday we entered the walls of Dowling College for the first time. Whew, now imagine how mom and dad feel. These four years flew by us. Meanwhile, mom and dad are wondering where the past 20 plus years have went. Yesterday, we wore diapers, took our first steps, said the darnest things, and hey, we still managed to get here today. Those who wish to succeed believe that possibilities are endless, and they continually possess an optimistic attitude of where there is a will, there is a way. We are limited only by what we believe our possibilities are. If we can see beyond the obstacles, the glass ceiling vanishes, relieving us of our speculated limitations. Each and every one of you had a goal, and today we recognize your ability to achieve that goal. You have completed a life-changing journey achieving a bachelor's degree. Your experiences have shaped you into the person you are today. You have spent the last four years in an atmosphere that has not only encouraged you to be yourself, but to be your best self. After a successful four-year flight from the beginning all the way to the very end, the runway is in sight. 
Today we hold this commencement ceremony in your honor. Oftentimes when we hear commencement, we think the end, right? The end of classes, the end of our college career, the end of one chapter of our life. But let us remember the true meaning of commencement. Commencement means beginning, and this is only the beginning for you. Our, our generation has potential to change the world. You have potential to change the world. Look to your left and look to your right. Among you are people who can touch the lives of children by teaching, become CEOs of multi-million dollar companies, walk on the, mu the moon, cure cancer, and the list goes on and on. By now, we have learned you can Google anything. You can Google for an answer. You can Google for a career. You can even Google for a meet. But what you cannot Google to find is what's in your heart, the passion that drives you. So this is your time. This is only the beginning of the next chapter in your life. Find that passion that drives you, and nothing can stop you from getting to where you want to be. Class of 2013, you are officially clear for takeoff on the flight of your life, a flight filled with success as you soar toward your dreams. Have a great flight, and congratulations. Thank you.